What's good, YouTube? It's your boy. We back at it again with another video. Feel me? Today, we got Adam Levine. He had an affair with an OnlyFans model, and he wanted to name his unborn child after the OnlyFans model. Yeah, he's currently married to a Victoria's Secret model, like top Victoria's Secret model, as you can see right here. But everyone is talking about it. Everybody's going crazy about it, and we about to react to it. You feel me? Let's go. The name his child after his side check. I'm just gonna rip the bandaid off because I've retaken this like 10 times now. Essentially, I was having an affair with a man who's married to a Victoria's Secret model. At the time, you know, I was young, I was naive, and I mean, quite frankly, I feel exploited. I wasn't in the scene like I am now, um, so I was definitely very easily manipulated. I don't know why she said that. Because if you're having an affair with somebody, that means you were a part of the affair. You feel me? Um, and when she said manipulated, she was very young. Bro, this was a year ago. This was not like nothing crazy long. This was literally a year ago. Shorty is 23, so she was 22 last year. So easily manipulated, exploited, but she was with him for a minute. I don't get it, you know? That doesn't seem, I don't sit right with me, you know? Maroon 5 is practically elevator music at this point, so I'm sure you know who Adam Levine is. In this leaked text Sumner shows, Adam Levine had deemed her saying, it is truly unreal how effing hot you are. Like, it blows my mind. She responded, I mean, I think the same. Seeing you in person, I was like, I'm effed. You are 50 times hotter in person. You see what I'm talking about? I don't get it. She said that she was easily manipulated and exploited and stuff like that, but look what she's saying in her text messages. I, I don't understand. How is that How is that being exploited or manipulated? <laughs> what? Come on, bro. And so am I. <laughs> um, but Adam and I were seeing each other for about a year. After I stopped talking to him over you know, a period of months, this is uh, how he came back into my life. Here we can see yet another leaked DM where he desperately tried to get her attention by saying, okay, serious question. I'm having another baby, and if it's a boy, I really want to name it Sumner. You okay with that? Dead serious. Look, I don't get it with these celebrities in these days, dog. I don't get it at all. You gonna name your son Earth, and you gonna name your, your, your daughter Wendy. They're like, they gonna name a fire. Like, I don't understand. Like, come on, bro. You gonna name your boy Summer? We in 2022. I don't, look, <laughs> I don't, I'm just saying. <laughs> Summer, though, you must want your son to get bullied, dog. It's really crazy out here, bro. Yikes. Can you imagine if Bahati had already had the baby and they'd named it? How disgusted would Bahati feel? People are saying at this point it's like Adam Levine it was begging to get exposed. Um, <laughs> I was like, I'm in hell. Like, I have to be in hell at this point. I mean, my morals were unknowingly compromised. I was completely manipulated. I'm going to heal this privately. Bro, you were not manipulated. You were not manipulated whatsoever. You clearly showed messages where you were interacting with him on the same type of time. The same type of energy. She was doing the same thing he was doing. So how was he manipulating her? How was she easily manipulated? I don't get it. This just sounds like a little crazy to me. I don't get it. I never wanted to come forward because obviously- In the comments, people were like, girl, no, you can't be playing the victim right now. Are you serious? Exactly. Someone what? had said, it's no secret he's been married for a decade. The Bruh, it's no secret he's been married for a decade. The only victim here is his wife and, ch and children. And that's, to me, I believe that. that's really facts. If you know anything about these celebrities, bro, you know they all be cheating, bro. I'm not gonna say all, but you already know what I mean. You feel me? Celebrities cheat, especially Maroon 5. We already know that they be, they be cheating. They've been cheating. You feel me? At this point in time, his wife probably know that they, he was cheating. You never know that. His wife probably already knew that he was cheating. But she felt like she had to expose it probably because somebody else was going to expose it or something. But she really is trying to play this victim game the whole time. You was playing along in the game. I don't get it. I don't. Only victim here is his wife and children. Nah, I don't buy it. She is playing like the victim. The only victim here is Levine's wife. Quote, I was young. It was last year. I know the implications that come with doing what I do, making money the way I do, and being an Instagram model. 
Um, so being tied to a story like this, it's like, I know the stereotypes. I had sent, um, I had sent some screenshots recklessly to a few friends I thought I trusted, and one of them had attempted to sell to a tabloid. Um, so here I am. You see what I said? She, somebody tried to sell the story to a tabloid, so she felt like she had to expose it before. That's really ironic timing. That's really ironic timing. And that's so funny. But hey. By the way, that TikTok has over 20 million views. Insane. Adam is well renowned for his music and making women feel loved. So yeah, people genuinely can't listen to his music the same again. Sumner obviously was receiving a lot of backlash, so decided to make another TikTok trying to clear up things to make her seem like she wasn't a home wrecker, because that's what everyone was calling her in the comments. I just wanted to make a part two. Um, I feel like it's obviously necessary. Um, hindsight is 2020. I initially wanted to go in and talk about how remorseful I feel and how embarrassed and disgusted I am with myself, but I didn't want people to look at it and think like, oh, she's playing the victim. But in reality, it had the opposite effect. Needless to say that the following TikTok did not go down well for her either. Someone had said, it's giving, he didn't choose me vibes. Another user had said, girl, you are not sorry. You knew exactly what you were doing. Something I now realize I didn't touch on enough was the fact that um, one of my friends had attempted to sell it, um, which I realized yesterday whenever they reached out to me for comment. And so I was completely frantic. That is why that video is for one just so all over the place into why I didn't touch on some of the things that I initially would have liked. So in this video, I would like to address some of those things. Okay, so that's all very well and great, but what she seemed to forget to mention in this video was, oh, I don't know, maybe an apology to Bahati. People are also saying um, he literally posted pics with her all the time on social media. How did you not know they were together? I only came forward because I wanted to kill whatever story the tabloid had. She is capping. She did not only want to kill no story. You wanted to come forward because your friend was about to sell the story. And you thought, probably in your mind, that this would have made you money or got you some type of clout. You capping. You was not trying to kill no story. Come on, stop playing this game. Like, she said you're not even apologizing to his wife. You knew what the case was, bro. I'm pretty sure there's pictures of him and his wife on his Instagram. And you, a model or whatever, some sort, you didn't see those pictures. Even though you was y'all was in each other DMs, you didn't see those pictures. Come on, bro, that's crazy. And another thing is it's crazy, like, bro, women can make these stories up right here and post it online, and people automatically believe them. I don't get it. How can you say she have validity in her story? I'm not saying that this story don't make no sense, but at the same time, like, people can go online and say things, and people automatically believe them because they're a woman. I don't ever get that. To me, that make no sense. I feel like everybody is. is Innocent until proven guilty, right? So why is it that she's able to do this right here? Why? We all know why, but nobody want to admit it. Had. The most important part that I did definitely gloss over is the fact that I was under the impression that their marriage was over. I believe that they were keeping it quiet to avoid the negative press because, as I had said, I was new to LA. So I just assumed that with celebrities of that caliber that that's just how it was. Um, but Bahati is pregnant with their third child and she thought that they were over. It's so weird, like things just aren't adding up. And also since when does being new to LA mean you forget all basic morals? And that's why I feel exploited because he knew I believed everything that he said because of my vulnerable position of being new to LA. Also, he was DMing me straight from his verified Instagram account. I didn't have any reason to further question it. But I now realize that that was likely a manipulation tactic of his, you know, just hiding in plain sight. As soon as I had realized that was not the case, I had cut things off with him. In retrospect, I wish I would have questioned things more. I wish I wasn't so naive, but you know, being naive is not an excuse for what I did in the role I played in this. Bro, I'm really getting tight. <laughs> I'm getting tight because you say all this stuff, it just sounds like you blaming him for having an affair with you, but you was the one that was having an affair with him too. I don't get it. Why? Why is this the case? You are part of it. You are part of the problem. And you can't accept that you are part of the problem. 
And you wonder why you're being called a homewrecker. You're part of the problem. Come on. Stop, yo, stop playing this victim game. Again, in no way was I trying to gain sympathy. And I fully realize I'm not the victim in this. I'm not the one who's really getting hurt here. It's Biotti and her children. And for that, I'm so, so sorry. Of course, fans were disgusted when all this came out and were accusing that first side chick of being a pick-me girl. A pick-me, for those who don't know, is someone that deliberately exhibits behaviour that attempts to appease others, most often the opposite sex, whilst acting as if they're completely unaware that this is what they're doing, even though they definitely are. A fan had tweeted about the situation, stating, After Adam Levine cheated on his wife, let's remember and normalise the fact that cheating was never about a woman's lack of beauty, worth, or anything for that matter. But instead, Said a man's abundance of insecurities, unworthiness, and desperation. Don't let men manipulate that reality. Adam Levine has responded to the infidelity. Nobody cheats because of insecurities. People cheat because they have an abundance of options. He has an abundance of options. He he most likely was attracted to this woman on Instagram. He seen what he liked and he he responded. Nobody cheat because of no insecurities. He wasn't insecure. He just wanted to to smash so you trying to say insecurities all this other stuff it's not insecure it's not insecure it's none of that well women cheat is it insecure that's really the question you, if you want to say that he's insecure but he's not stop y'all guys stop acting like these people is insecure because they cheat it's wrong to cheat of course but at the same time it's not because they're insecure it's because they one they want to two they just want to be attracted to somebody else. So they're going to do that and they're going to do what they want. Not insecurity. Accusations. Since his response, more of his side chicks have come forward and exposed him. And some of the messages are creepy. Another model had leaked these messages where he'd said, I'm now obsessed with you. Dude, aren't you like married? Lol. Yes, but it's a bit complicated. Stuff gets hard and the vid thing didn't help. I might get away. Holy F. Holy effing F. That body of yours is absurd. Next date I'll be like, do you want to make out with the devil? Ha ha. How are you such an hourglass? My God. Ha ha ha. Seriously, F. I may need to see the booty. F. People are saying that he texts so immaturely. Watching your ass jiggle on that table will permanently scar me, but otherwise I'm amazing. F. I do anything. I'm not gonna lie. I'm not gonna lie. Adam, that is some cringy, 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 weird text message, my boy. That is weird. That is weird. That is a weird message to send. That is so weird, bro. I, I can't like, I, I can't. I don't know about these other girls, but that other girl was definitely trying to play a victim and she was not the victim. She was part of the, the whole affair. I